Hello, and welcome to TrueHorrorStoriesOfTexas.com. Hello, this is Leia with True Horror Stories of Texas. And this next story takes place in May of 1975 in Texas City, Texas. This is Confronted by Ghost Lady in White. My first real paranormal experience happened when I was 17. One spring summer evening, my mother announced she was going to the grocery store. She asked if my sister or I wanted to go with her. I said no, my sister said yes, and off they went. As I recall, this was around five in the evening. As the sun set, I decided it would be a good time to get my piano practice out of the way. The setup of the living room was situated so that if I sat on the piano bench, my back would be towards the front door. To my left would be the hallway leading to the bedrooms. To my upper right was the family room, and behind me the living room furniture, front windows, and front door. I was practicing a piano piece, Beethoven I think, and I was concentrating on trying to master one movement, playing it over and over again. It must have been around 7 p.m. when I thought I heard my mother call my name, which usually meant she needed my help with the groceries. I will remember these circumstances for the rest of my life. What I was wearing, the smell of the spring air, the humidity in the house, the sound of our dog barking, the fading sound of the piano notes as I released the pedal. Anyways, I turned around on the piano bench, thoroughly expecting to see my mother and sister dragging in loads of grocery bags. After all, they had been gone for a couple of hours. As I turned, I heard my name called again. What I saw will give me chills for the rest of my days. Slowly walking from the hallway entrances, across the living room to the couch, a very pretty lady wearing a white gown. As I watched her, she was watching me. Our eyes were locked. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps even now, some 47 years later. She was wearing a long flowing Victorian type dressing gown. I remember the sleeves were delicately and intricately embroidered and the back of the sleeves fell almost to the floor. The bottom of her gown glided along the floor like ripples in a stream, and the train of it obediently trailed behind her. The lady's hair was light brown, wavy and shiny, and there was no part. It looked as if it had been pulled back with a clasp, and it flowed slightly above her waist. I was frozen as I watched her effortlessly cross the room. She turned as she reached the couch and looked me straight in the eyes and said, I need you to hear me. No, 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 nope, I said, as I almost fell to the floor, knocking over the piano bench, turning my back and running into the family room. With my back still turned towards the entity, I turned on the television for noise, sat down in a chair that had a high back and was resting against the wall. I sat there for another two hours, which seemed like an eternity until my mother and sister actually did come home. My mother took one look at me and quickly knew something was wrong. I was apparently, and yes, she said it, as white as a ghost. I often think about this and wonder what it was that that lady in white had to say to me. I've never been back to that house to find out.